Hi guys, in a recent video I showed you I picked up this little toy car in a charity shop along with a few other toys and I thought I'd better review it now. It's a wall climber. Uh, interestingly it's got these like tank, tank tracks here rather than wheels. That's the vent that the air's sucked through and I guess the tank tracks help to seal it against the wall. Usually they seem to have um, sort of flaps along the side here to seal the air and wheels inside so this one's a bit different. Had a look on the web I haven't been able to identify this particular model. There's lots of wall climbers on the web and on YouTube. The only thing I found was I looked up this patent number and did find some details. They're in Chinese and Google Translate translates them to English for us but they don't really help us very much but I'll put a link in the video description so you can have a look. The switch is off ground and wall and then we've got the charger port there. I've been able to get some charge into it and if I switch it on we get one of the headlights comes on and if I switch it all the way to the wall position the fan comes on. But as usual with any infrared controlled toy I can never get any of my existing transmitters to work with it. This is an air hogs one. Nope. Uh, this one, I think it's a silver lit. Not sure. Turn it off, turn this one on, turn it on. Nope. Off, off. Now this is the silver lip. On, on. And basically I never ever have any luck trying to match any of my existing transmitters to any toys that I get that don't have transmitters with them. Anyway, we'll take it apart and have a look inside. shame really because it clearly works but without the transmitter it's pretty useless I was talking about that patent and from what I was reading it's all about the angle of the airflow and that sort of thing. It's quite a comprehensive patent. Right, so there we are. That's the top of the rotor sucks the air through or blows it out here 
this plastic all helps to direct the airflow. That's the infrared sensor, and that's our LEDs for the lights. And the wires don't appear to be broken. So, let's get inside. Sort of peels off. So we've got the lipo at the front there. Full river. I've seen that make of lipo before. Obviously, this is the receiver board. What I do like is all these gears here. That's a lot of gears there to gear the motor down to give it the power to drag along the, um, I'll call them caterpillar tracks. Uh, I don't know if the camera will pick it out. There's obviously there's the motor in there. Is there two motors? I can't. I suspect there's another motor underneath the lipo there. Probably stuck in place. Oh, yeah, that's out. Yeah, so we've got a motor at either end. So that one's driving this set of tracks, and that one's driving this set of tracks. Don't know if there's any point actually undoing that. size screwdriver bit. Some of them look like they've warmed up a bit at some time. But that's about it really. So lots of nice gears in there. But without the right transmitter to match the receiver, they're not going to go very much further. Which is a shame. It does look like that's been squeezed a bit there. The insulation I'm talking about. quite see how many milliamp hours the battery is. Probably 150 or something like that. Looks about that size, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. That's it. Taken apart. Can't really do much more to it, I don't think. Two nice little motors, plenty of nice little gears, but that's about it. Oh, there must be another motor under there, so we've got three motors. Job done. <laughs>